mostly what happens, you know, I think at this point with all the reporters out there is just people are just throwing rumors all over the place. And literally the same day you had a rumor about we wanted this guy and we wanted that guy and it was, you know, it just you have to step back and laugh at it a little bit. We don't comment on all the rumors. I mean, we're in the number one slot in the NFL draft. There's a ton of interest and popularity. That would be false, but I'm not gonna comment on every every rumor that's out there. It would it would take me you know, a lot of time uh, to do it because every day there's a new rumor. The media speculation, it, it, it really doesn't, it really doesn't impact us. Uh, you really have to keep your keep your blinders on, so to speak. You can understand where it's, it's fun for us to strategize and do different scenarios. I mean, you know, why would it be any different for, you know, for fans or people who follow the sport? But you know, ultimately, it's, it's probably no, more noise than signal and, and, and we, uh, we do our best to tune it out. We want to make the best possible decision. We want to get to winning as soon as reasonably possible. Uh, but we don't want to take shortcuts because that's how you stay bad. And I think when you look back at the history of the organization, uh, just the consistency and sticking to a plan has been a challenge. Uh, and you know, my task more than anything else is to make sure that the strategy that we laid out uh, yesterday is the strategy that we're going to stick to tomorrow. Uh, doesn't mean that we don't try to learn and improve and get better, uh, but at the same time we feel really good about what we've done, where we're heading, why we've made the decisions we'll make, and Thursday will be no different, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. We don't really look at it as pressure, we look at it as opportunity. Um, Obviously, we get our first choice of, of, of player. Should we should we exercise it at the top of the draft? But you know, really, we look at the draft in totality, like as a, as a whole. You know, the draft doesn't end after after pick one, um, but we are excited that uh, you know whatever decision we make at the top of the draft, it's something that can truly move our roster forward uh, as we enter next year. I think we have a good sense of, of the direction we'll be heading on draft night, no doubt. Um, but at the same time, I think, you know, there's a lot of activity that happens between now and uh, the start of the draft. And so what you don't want to do is not be prepared for that. And simply, uh, that's the way we approach it. Uh, so, you know, for us, we feel really good about, you know, the play that we'll end up taking at one. Uh, and if something happens in between now and then, which is unlikely, uh, we'll be prepared to, to analyze that and decide whether that presents a better opportunity. And it really is that simple. This is a pivotal time in Cleveland Browns history because we do have an opportunity to impact our organization, our team in a way that maybe they haven't had in the past. And it comes down to making the right decisions. And I think we will. We've done a great job of all working together and understanding what we need to, to get this organization where we need to get it to. And uh, I think we're all aligned the correct way to, to get that done. For us, it's just what's the next decision, and we look at every opportunity as, as broadly as we can, but try to make the best decision for the organization. We don't want to build something that's going to be great one day and fall apart in, in a year or two. Uh, we want to build something that's sustainable. We want to adopt philosophies that are sustainable, and we are doing that. Well, it's exciting to put new, fresh talent on a football team, you know, and talent that you think is going to help you get um, chase the ultimate goal, which is winning a championship. And you go through that experience every year, you know, and you want the player to truly understand that this is really something special. One special that they have an opportunity to be drafted to, special that you're getting an opportunity to play for the Cleveland Browns, which is one of the greatest football places in all of pro sports. You know, our fans are second to none. Um, the organization hasn't been on the field what we want it to be. And I get excited about young men who are going to come into our organization and help us get this turn. And that's the excitement you see from me because I really truly believe we're going to impact our football team and this organization like never before. I think more than anything else what attracted me to come to Cleveland and, and uh, you know what motivates me day to day is reviving the dog pound and bringing the wins back to First Energy Stadium. Uh, and, and building a team that the city is proud of again and that represents the city well. You know, I think where we are, uh, you know, is, is positioned to really improve this roster and, and in a dramatic and significant fashion. That's what we want to do. We cannot wait to get to winning. I think the fans should be excited. Uh, we certainly are in this building, so we're going to bring uh, the Cleveland Browns and their fans uh, some tremendous players here in the, in the next couple days.